boy Danny back at it again with another video on the channel. For the people that watched my last video, commented, like, subscribe, I greatly appreciate the love. Especially now that the Mustang has a new 99-01 quarter bumper, it looks really nice. Uh, but the thing is, man, I finally made the decision of wrapping my car. Now, the thing is, I really like this all-black color, and I didn't want to make the decision of painting the car and not having a way to go back to it. So I just thought that wrapping would be the best decision for the car. Now, the color that I chose is a color that uh, most people... I don't know, have some mixed feelings about thing is I wanted to wrap my Mustang in this color for a very long time and you know what, I, I made the decision to finally pull the trigger and cop this wrap. Now for the new people that are on my channel, what's up homies, uh, this is my Mustang right here, 2004 Mustang GT and I will be showing you guys how to wrap your car. Now I'm a beginner, I've never done this before and honestly, I'm kind of nervous because if you've seen my videos, my prior videos, I messed up when it came to painting my, uh, what was it, the V6 Cobra hood. And I did pretty good when it came to body work, but when it came to the paint job, I completely messed up. But overall, I think it was a great learning experience, and I hope this becomes a learning experience for y'all. If I mess up, obviously I'm going to go over my mistakes. And yeah, homies, hopefully you guys like it. Let's get this video to 50 likes, and let me show you the color of the, of the wrap. Alright, homies, so here's the color. If you guessed it right, let me know down in the comment section below. But here it is. It's called the Gloss Rock Gray by Avery Dennison. Now, the reason why I chose this color is because this is a color that I've dreamt of the car having for about like two years into ownership of it and this is by Avery Dennison gloss raw gray now the reason why I chose Avery Dennison is because it had a lot of great reviews about their wraps and honestly this wasn't even the original color I was going to choose um, our vinyl actually sold out of the original color that I had but they reached out to me so shout out to them and you know showed me this color and honestly I like this color a bit more just because it has a darker you know gray to it and yeah guys I mean from here on out now it's beginning to prep the car so let's get to the steps all right guys so now we got to prep the vehicle now we got to wash the car and what you can use is a car wash soap that's not wax based or has any wax in it luckily the soap that I've been using doesn't have any wax or isn't wax based uh, secondly you will need some isopropyl alcohol now you will need this when you're about to wrap not during your car wash but you do need this on the side so you can be ready once you begin to wrap now something I want to go over is that you want to dry your car as best as possible. You want to get in all the cracks, crevices of the Mustang or your vehicle, whatever you're wrapping at. Reason why is because you don't want it leaking when you're, I don't know, putting down your wrap. What if it leaks down under your wrap while you're wrapping? I mean, that'll suck. Obviously, the wrap won't stick and water will get stuck behind it later on. So yeah, guys, let's get to washing the car and it'll be a quick montage. So let's get to it. All right, sorry guys. I know I said I was gonna start, you know, washing the car to prep the wrap, but I, real quick, I'd go over this. If your car sits outside or maybe is under a tree, um, maybe, I don't know, somewhere, uh, use your car a lot to where it collects a lot of dirt, I would recommend you guys clay bar the vehicle, that way you can collect debris, dust, dirt from the paint that's stuck to the paint before you wrap your car. Uh, you know, if you wrap your car and you have all that stuff on your paint, you're going to see little specks of dust, whatever, under that wrap, and it's going to, you know, it's going to appear, it's going to look, you know, pretty weird. So obviously, you, you want to clay bar your car before you, you wrap. Another thing, as you can see, my car is really dusty. You can see it has some mud here, water spots. Uh, the wheels are really dirty. Now, I'm not gonna wrap my wheels, obviously, but the thing is, if you're gonna wash your car, you don't wanna use a mitt to wash the wheels, then wash your fenders, because what you're doing is you're just transferring the dirt or whatever that's on the wheels to the paint. Instead, just wash the paint, wash what you're gonna wrap, then later, after, wash the wheels. That way, you're not, you know, wrapping your car and the wrap, you know, touches the wheels. That way, you know, you have less dirt that's being picked up. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to go over that. So, now let's for real get to washing the car. Alright guys, now that I've done the process of washing the car, trying to get as much dirt, debris, etc. off of the vehicle, I'm going to be drying the vehicle now. Now what you got to do, obviously you start from top all the way to bottom. And what you want to go over are, again, the cracks and crevices of all the car. And that way you're just getting all the droplets, all the water. Now obviously water is going to run down later. Try to avoid using a quick detailer just because it does have chemicals in it that I don't know what's in it. Just 
go ahead and go back with your um, microfiber towel or whatever, dry it up, try to have it as dry as possible. Then again, we'll go over the steps of what we're gonna do before wrapping. I know this video is taking a bit long when it comes you know, to the wrapping part, but the thing is guys, I really wanna be very thorough, very detailed for you guys, you know, especially the beginners like myself who are gonna begin wrapping their car. So let's get to driving the vehicle. All right guys, so these are the tools I'm gonna to be using before wrapping. Now I may even get more tools later on in the videos, the series of videos I'm gonna be uploading, uh, depending how hard this is gonna get, because I already know it's gonna be hard. But this is what I'm gonna show what I'm using right now. So obviously we got our two microfiber towels. Now one is for the isopropyl alcohol. One is just for drying up, you know, water that's running down on the car. Then we got our little knife that I got from our vinyl. Again, not sponsored, but as always, shout out to your boy. Uh, lay card, whatever. This is just a lay down the wrap. Comes with a little covering that's soft. That way you're just not using straight up plastic. That way it's smooth. Painter's tape. Uh, I'm going to be going over why you need painter's tape, especially around the plastic parts. That way you know where to cut um, the wrap and you're not really cutting into the plastic on the car. Um, your isopropyl alcohol, got it here in the bottle. And lastly, a heat gun or what I have right here, a blow dryer. Now I don't have a heat gun, I'm going to use this blow dryer. So yeah, I mean, works the same way. And then obviously you just need your wrap. And here it is. So let's get to it homies, I'm pretty nervous but I mean, we gotta start somewhere, so let's get to it. Let's get the isopropyl alcohol. Or the AIA, as I say, because I don't want to say the whole word. And let's spray some here on our microfiber. Let's get it very clean inside. Now, a quick thing, you want to be careful with your fingertips. You know, your fingertips are dirty, carry a lot of oil, and uh, you don't want it sticking or, you know, being on the paint. So I just want to wipe thoroughly. And there we go. So I think we should be ready now. We're gonna cut our wrap, something or I don't know, square, rectangle. I think we cut the area pretty well. And let's learn you and I and see how this, see how this goes, Brody. So, so I want to start from the bottom. Also, I don't want to cut in the middle. You want to separate your space. It's wrapping cars now. All right. Now we got this little triangle, I mean triangle, <laughs> this little square. Let's go ahead and put this on the car now. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna use the IA around the gas cap, just in case I don't pick up dirt, surrounding dirt when I'm laying down the wrap. Let that dry for a second. Well, I'll go ahead and peel back this wrap. This is extremely nerve wracking. Wow. Okay. You know, a quick thing about myself I'm a very, very impatient person. I don't like waiting. And I get mad quickly. I don't have no damn like, anger issues, <laughs> but like, when things don't go my way, I get pretty upset. So, you know, if you see me get a little mad, just know it's because things aren't going my way and I will go over as to why they may not be going my way. All right, so I think I'm ready to cut. Now you want to be careful once you want to cut your uh, car, your paint. This thing is stupid sharp, man. This is like an exacto knife. If you ever had an exacto knife, you know how sharp these things can get. So you want to be careful. Um, like I said, you want to. I'm gonna cut around here, not close to the gas, gas cap, but away. So I want to find. I uh, hate to see this. Gotta learn somehow, that, right? All right, so now we're at this point. Now what we can do is two things. We can either open it a bit, start laying it down by hand, or if it's stretched how it's supposed to be, uh, we can use that uh, heat gun or bow dryer and see if the wrap will crinkle, will crinkle up by itself 
And if it does that, that means you did a very good job. If you didn't, I mean, obviously, you know, you didn't mess up, but it's just like, if it does it naturally, you did a pretty good job. So, um, you know what? What I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna use a combo. I'm gonna go ahead and use a blow dryer and see what happens. So obviously I gotta, I gotta take some risks, guys, so you guys can learn too, you know? Okay, so another thing, you don't wanna get too close. You don't wanna make it too hot. You don't want to mess up your uh, wrap. Um, sometimes what may happen is if you lay down your wrap and you start seeing bubbles, that's probably because you didn't get someplace where it was supposed to. It's probably not stretched enough. And uh, yeah, so I mean, as you can see, it started wrinkling up. So I mean, it's pretty good. It's showing that there's some resistance there. So you want that. Obviously, you want the wrap as flat as possible on the vehicle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna naturally like move it. Now, though it doesn't look that nice right here, it makes the whole cap look nice. And it probably saved me a bunch more time. All right, and that's how we're looking. So let me show you uh, how it looks. As of right now, it looks pretty good, don't you think? So now we're done with the gas cap, let's go ahead and do what the other parts that I'm gonna be working on. Alright homie, so next is the cell panel now that I'm done with the gas cap. Real quick, I had to close that garage because it was way too cold. Right here in Texas, we're not used to that, so I had to shut that down ASAP. But as you can see, I put a bunch of painter's tape around the cell panel just in case if I'm cutting, I don't want to, you know, cut the rear glass, paint, anything around, you know, the surrounding areas. And yeah guys, so it's time to go in on this. And honestly, I'm not gonna do much guys because like I said, I'm still learning. So after the cell panel, I'm gonna do the other side and that'll probably be it for today. But yeah, let's get to this and see how it goes. So little by little, as you can see, I'm having to lift it up swipe it down and you see me sometimes bend down the reason why I bend down here is to get an angle and see if I see any air bubbles like right here like you wouldn't see any air bubbles if I was you know up here standing up so that's what I've been doing right now I'm kind of focusing on this area it's becoming a bit tough since there's a curvature and it ends right here but slowly you know with patience you know it's coming out pretty good right um, at first I thought I cut too much but actually I think I like the fact that I cut a bit more just because as we saw with the gas uh, cap, you know, example, when we cut too little around the edges, um, it didn't tuck as well as I wanted it to, and there was like a little area where it was like a bit short, but you know, it's coming along pretty well, so let's get to it still. All right, so here's the finished product. Well, almost there, but uh, the camera died for some reason by the time I got to this corner. Honestly, it wasn't that hard. I just kept using my method of lifting up the wrap and going down on it uh, slowly. And as you can see, there's, it's basically done. All I have to do is just cut around the film, the wrap, uh, heat it up a little bit, and then tuck it behind the sail panel. But I was just going over it, making sure that there was no bubbles left, going around these corners, the edges, of the cell panel and yeah homies. now I don't know if I'm gonna keep the cell panel in the future because I'm looking for a bullet or a Mach 1 cell panel but it was good practice and honestly you know I needed a big part to work on so I can see where I'm at but look at it man looks pretty good right so now what I'm gonna do is cut around the wrap and tuck it in so let's get to that Alright, so on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut away. All it is from here now is tucking it in. I'll be right back once I'm done with that. 
All right, homie, so this is a finished product from both parts that I did on the exterior. So we got the gas cap that I did pretty all right, you know, I mean, like I said, I cut a little bit too much here and I learned from mistakes and so then I did the cell panel, right? Now the only thing I did mess up is this corner on the way over here, and I'll show you guys, and a little bit on this corner, but the thing is I didn't mess up because it was too short, but it was too much, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut, and yeah, uh, along the sides here, on the rear uh, window, and right here on the cell panel window, uh, I did pretty good, uh, here in the fender I did pretty good as well, so there's nothing that, uh, honestly, I also am very happy when it came to that, just that little corner right here, and this one I have to fix. But I think I did really well for a beginner for this part and this part. Now, honestly, I will do the other sail panel, but I really want to attack the hood. The reason why is because I just want to get that urge off of me that, you know, that's a big part, obviously, that on the exterior, and I just want to get over with and see how I can do it. So let's get to it. Now, I'm not going to explain too much just because, like, it's pretty self-explanatory the way I'm showing you guys of uh, just using your little applicator uh, card and just, you know, wiping it down, uh, looking for bubbles. Um, try not to get wrinkles, so basically like not going too fast, go slow, look for air bubbles, and trimming. Uh, when I get to the hood, the only thing I'm really going to show you guys is the corners, because that's a learning experience for me too. Uh, I want to show you guys how I tuck the corners, how I tuck them, and yeah guys, so let's get to it. Alright, um, so a tool I forgot to mention is a tape measure. Obviously you're going to need this when you're measuring, so that way you're cutting enough wrap when you're wrapping, let's say, a large part like the hood, right? So I've already measured my hood. It's about 50 inches when it stretches across from fender to fender, and then it's about another 50 inches when it comes to the front bumper to the front windshield, right? Thing is, you also have to factor in, like so for example, my cow hood, these dips in the cow hood, I have one and two. And these run about, I don't know, like all the way to the end is about two and a half inches right here, right? And then here, it's about a little elevation of about an inch. Then we also have to account for the back of the cow hood. Now I'm not going to go all the way to the back with the wrap just because it's really hot here. I'm going to stop it around here. You want to make extra space as well when it comes to mistakes. And we're also going to be lifting up the hood and tucking it under the hood. So you have to think about that guys. All right. So you don't want to cut too short, nor do you want to cut too much, but you just want to have a good amount when it comes to mistakes, when it comes to what is on your hood. For example, like the GT hood has a scoop. Uh, my cow hood has the cow, obviously. And yeah, guys, I mean, that, that's something you gotta factor in when it comes to measuring with your tape measure. Now you gotta, you know, give some extra space for mistakes. So let's get to it, buddies. Well, I told you I was going to show you my mistakes, and this is one of them. So, I'm pretty pissed at myself. Uh, I did something very careless, and that's lifted up by myself. Somebody's here at the house, but the thing is, I want to do it myself so I can show you guys how you can do it by yourself. So, where I messed up is here in the middle. What I should have done was kept it where it was at, peel it off, fold it, or fold it, peel it off, and then flip it back on the hood. And that way keep other side uh, um, peeled, but damn, I'm doing it with my dad. I don't want to end the video on a sad note. What I messed up was that I didn't use a person, and honestly, like, you can, I had to put my pride aside sometimes. I can't do it by myself. You're gonna need somebody to help you out, or if not, you're gonna have to use different techniques. I mean, I had somebody here at home, so obviously I'm gonna use the advantage of having somebody here at home or even calling up a friend to help me out when it comes to lay down on a surface that's very large. As you saw how long it took for us just to lay down, us too, it goes to show how difficult it is to lay down like a hood, right? So now I'm just gonna zoom in the camera more over here and start laying it down, guys.
All right, guys, so this is as much as I got done today. Now, obviously, I'm taking breaks. Take a break, guys, when you're doing this because honestly, you're going to get very stressed if you're just sitting here trying to figure things out. Take a break, watch some videos, go eat, go do something, go outside. Just don't be, you know, focusing too much on this because if you, if you do, bro, you will get, like, <laughs> you'll get so obsessed with it and if something happens, you'll get mad and you'll start doing things that you don't want to do to the rap. Um... But yeah, I've just been taking my time, and currently what I want to show you guys is I'm getting very close to the hood pins. If anything, I'm actually on the hood pins already. And so what I've been doing is I've been feeling out the hood pins, so to see around the edges and stuff, and seeing how I'm going to lay it down. Now, this is where the, um, the heat is going to come into play, you know what I'm saying? So what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on, it's pretty loud, by the way. So this is what you do, of what I've been doing. Stretch it first, apply heat. Not too much, all right? Put it on your hands sometimes. That way you can feel the heat, see how hot it is. All right, when you're done with that, watch how easy this wrap just comes out. And if you get some wrinkles, you can always look. I got a little wrinkle right here. This is what I'm gonna do, watch. I'm great, I got this on video. So look, pop it back up, you can use your hand, and I can see the wrinkle right there. Let's lift it up, right? Now I'm gonna use my heat. And watch that wrinkle will go away. What the heat does, it returns the wrap back to normal. And you're able to correct that mistake. Now, all we're just doing is just taking our time. Oh, that, that's all this is about. Just being patient, bro. Don't be quick to it. And now, I'm getting close to the hood pin. Now I'm going to feel out for it. See? Make sure I don't have no air bubbles around here. I'm just going to feel this out. And if I want, I can lay it down. See what I'm saying? Now I'm going to stretch it a bit more. And stretching, don't be afraid to pull on the wrap, all right? This thing is very resistant. Also, don't put like all your weight into it, but you, you'll be able to feel that resistance and just feel for that resistance of the wrap. Also, I need to get under it, obviously, because I need to cut around the hood pins. Because obviously, how else I'm going to open the hood? Now, this is the first time I'm doing this, all right? So I'm learning. This is what, this is what I'm, you know, predicting how it'll work out. Just doing this, filling out first. So as you can see, you can see the hood pin now. Now, I got to work on this section right here before I get to the hood pin. So let me get rid of this. When I get back, this should be gone. And all it is is just this piece of the hood left. Boom, your boy hit that, man. Really, all I've been doing is just maneuvering the applicator cord around the hood pin. I bet I'm over here burping like that, man. Uh, around the hood pin, and then just using heat, bro. It's literally nothing complicated. Sorry I didn't record, but honestly, guys, it really wasn't that hard. I thought it was going to be really tough, but honestly, just my method of just stretching, heating up, and flattening it down, like, this took me no more than maybe three, four minutes just doing this, just going around and making sure there's no bubbles. All right, guys, so boom, we are done with the right side of the hood. Got it around the hood pin. Uh, make sure there's no air bubbles around the right side, nor the top, and at the end of the hood. Now, I may go back and I may fix some places, but right now i got to focus on the left side of the hood, which I will do tomorrow. Um, what I've been doing is I've lately been picking it up and moving it. I know I haven't worked on it in, like, what, almost a day and a half, but it's still sticking, just as long as it's not collecting dust or dirt. And, yeah, guys, I mean, all it is is the same process on the other side of the hood. And, honestly, it's turning out great. Uh, all I have to do now is lift up the hood once I cut out the hood pins and tuck it under and cut off the excess wrap. So yeah guys, we'll get to that.
Finally guys, I finished the hood. Now, as you can see, it took some time. I had to use a lot of heat. Um, I really had to give some tension when it came to the wraps. That way I can have all the air escape while I'm using the hot air, you know, using the applicator car to take out all the air and lay it down very nice. So honestly, on this side of the hood, it's really not that pretty. I'm not even gonna lie. There's a lot of little like dots and everything like that from when they're wrapped, just wrapped on top of each other. However, on the other side, it came out really well just because I learned my mistakes from this side and I finished the other side now. I can't go back because all the mistakes are really around this area and I would have to peel back the wrap. Now, I don't think it will be so detrimental to the wrap or under the hood just because honestly, it's really nothing. You would have to be me to really see it, honestly. But it looks very good, guys. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut around the hood. Um, obviously, not too much around the corners. First, I gotta cut the hood pin uh, area. That way I can pop the hood and tuck it under. I'm not gonna give too much attention when it comes to cutting the hood pins since most of you guys probably don't have that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off in the middle and then work my way out. I'm not gonna just do it all at once because I don't know what I'm gonna attack at yet. And then I'm not gonna really point out too much when it comes to the sides of the hood, but really the corners, since cornering is gonna be really tough. But I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And yeah guys, uh, I'll get back to y'all once I get to the corners. So let's get to it. So, if y'all can see, it's I, I. I messed up. Hold up, let me see if I can. Let's see, let's see. I messed up here. Cut a little bit too much. And thing is, I forgot it was really flat. I thought this sl slid like downward. And then right here, I messed up pretty bad. Kind of upset myself about that. But like I said, guys, I mean, I gotta. I gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's no way I could have known that if I didn't cut this, right? But honestly, I mean, it's not too visible, honestly. Um, but I mean, I did, I did all right here. This side did pretty good. This side, good. And then over here, kind of messed up. Over here is, uh, all right. And then right here is pretty bad. But I mean, you gotta learn somehow, right? But that's one side. And let me go ahead and do the other side. Now that I know how this is like. This is probably going to end up, that one's probably going to end up way better than this side, right? So let's get to it. I'm thinking about cutting it in half. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to go slow because I don't know if I, I don't know if I cut it that well. Ooh! Bro, tell me this is recording right now. Hold up. Hold up. The old boy went too in on this one, bro. Now I feel, now I'm mad. Cause those are looking like like your boy blind or something. Ooh! What y'all think? Boy, I want him. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Dang! All right, let's get to popping the hood and tucking this in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up and I'm gonna pull the whole thing over and just cut off the excess. All right, so this is how I'm gonna take the corners. I'm gonna slice from down here, and I'm gonna fold it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna fold it this way, and then fold it that way. That's what I'm thinking about doing right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it like that, and I'm gonna do the other side, and, and I'll be done, all right, homies? So yeah, once I come back, this hood should be done. All right guys, phase one wrapping the car is done. The gas cap, sail pan on the hood are finished. Honestly, from the gas cap and sail panel was no comparison from the hood because it's a really big part of the car. But we learned a lot. Obviously, with the first time I messed up big time and I threw away the whole wrap just out of pure anger. That's why you have to have patience to do this. But your boy's not patient at all. So shout out to my dad for helping me out on the second time putting down the wrap. That way I was able to you know, do a really good job. Uh, from the gas cap, I mean, we learned not to cut too much. That way we can tug it in pretty well. The sail panel, I mean, we learned about patience, just taking your time, that way you can come out really nice. And then the hood, we learned not to get angry too fast, be patient, and cornering. So obviously, you know, the corners on this Mustang, 
uh, are going to be really hard since it has a lot of sharp corners. The hood was really difficult, so I gotta learn some new tricks, some tips. If you guys know how to wrap or have some tricks, please let me know down in the comment section. I will read them and respond, and I'll read and respond if you have any questions, of course. But yeah, guys, further, uh, furthermore, throughout the whole phase of this Mustang, I will be going a bit quicker. I'm not going to be as detailed like in this first video, just because I wanted to give a bit of a beginner's view of how it is wrapping your car. Obviously, it's not like 100% perfect. There's going to be some mistakes. You got to fix them. So, like I said, in the front of the hood, there's a bit of wrinkles up right there. But honestly, guys, it's a little L for a big W. You know, obviously, got the uh, hood wrap. But in the future, I do want to learn how to corner better. That way, it doesn't peel like from a year from now, right? So again, guys, thank you so much. I uh, hope you guys like the video. If you have any comments, let me know down below. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends like always. And thank you guys and see you next time.